Welcome back to the Bear Taffy Live Show Tuesday, September 10th, 2013. I'm so used to saying August. Months are weird. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Bear. It's time for some Spelunky All Done with Dark Souls for today, and we're diving right into the daily challenge for September 11th, 2013. Speak now, forever hold your peace. Who do you want to bring it down into the daily challenge with us tonight? Of course, we ran with Mr. Uh, Volgar the Viking. I, f I feel like that's probably going to be my name for him from now on. Uh, Volgar here was our uh, pick yesterday due to our preview session, which that video is now up on YouTube, by the way, if you want to check that out. It's a Volgar preview that I did last night on the live stream. We got the VOD up now. Bearbot, of course, rolling with the robot. It has been a while since we've gone with the robot. We got Indian Jones, Round Boy, uh, Juan Spelonco. Yes, there's his name. That's the one I was looking for all those, all those dailies ago. Blue Bear, couple votes for Blue Bear. That's a good one. That's a good one. Some Round Boy action. The Ninja's a good one as well. I'm thinking Blue Bear. Well, you know, we have done Blue Bear recently. Maybe it's time to give Round Boy another chance. It's been a while since Round Boy's gone down. I think I'll go with Round Boy today. Round boy, where art thou? Where is he? Where is he? He's coming. He's coming. Did I pass him? I must have passed him by there. <laughs> yes. I'm a dummy. All the way around. All the way around. All right. September 11th daily challenge. Away we freaking go. Yeah, Bearbot, you'll be bitter no matter what I do. I don't even feel bad about you, man. Jeez. I'm going to redeem myself, hopefully, for uh, yesterday's, yesterday's abysmal effort in the daily challenge. It was... A uh, quick exit in mine 1-1, I believe, where I ended up taking an arrow trap right to the noggin and uh, got myself killed on a spike pit. Sorry for spoiling that, for those of you who may not have seen that yet. It's up on the YouTube channel if you want to go watch that now, but... Oh, man. I am determined. I am determined to make a solid effort out of this. And something else that I'm going to have to do at some point in the near future here is the No Treasure Hell Spelunky Daily Challenge run. I totally botched that. Oh, man, I'm going to have to find different way to set these things off apparently there's an arrow that'll work out okay come on over here buddy yeah I definitely want to try to do that uh, no treasure daily challenge that would be pretty awesome oh man if I could be successful at that my life would be complete man like I haven't even gotten a regular no treasure run yet so that that would make me a happy bear happy bear indeed all right so the dog appears to be right under there yep as I suspected I think I'm gonna have to either uh, set the. Oh, I can just set this off like this, I suppose. I was gonna say I'm gonna have to whip that one, but I don't. Don't gotta take risks that don't merit taking, at least not this early on, considering the results of yesterday. So, I think we're just about clear through 1 1 here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this rock. Enjoy the tasty tunes of 1 1 for a second longer, and then make our way back out of here. Oh, off to bed, Blighted Arrow. Thanks for hanging out on the stream, buddy. Did not appreciate it. Mm-hmm-hmm. Drizzle64, how's it going? Thanks for coming, buddy. Oh, this shop is not at all worth it. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that completely, assuming there's no vault in here, which I don't think there will be, but there is a snake pit. I'll be capitalizing on that for sure. I think we go ahead and maybe want to bomb through here, considering there's not really a very effective way of getting up that way, it doesn't look like. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to have to use a couple bombs to get through here, although uh, maybe if I go down a little farther... Let's just go like this. Let's see what happens when I bomb right there. Should be able to push that boulder through, so that works out. Or crushy block, rather. <laughs> there we go. Nice! Okay, now i got to make sure I don't fall down too soon, lest I be shot to death by arrow traps galore. There is an idle head right here, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go ahead and leave that be as well. There's no real benefit to that, especially considering it's almost guaranteed to aggravate the shopkeep and rather avoid that for now at least. Looks like we've got our exit right along here and we're gonna be low on bombs here unfortunately as we're gonna have to use one. Crown boy looks so <laughs> Look at him scuttle his little butt up in the air. That's that's adorable. Alright, let's go like this. Not get hit by the rock. Please, thank you. Got our Matic and let's see what's over here I suppose. Oh, oh god, that was dumb. That was expected and also stupid. And there's an arrow trap up there. I definitely don't want to set that off right now. Alright, so let's get this money real fast. I think I might just bring the Matic along with me for the ride as I go into... Ooh, hey, look, there's a Sapphire. That's sweet. I don't think I'm going to be ghosting any of this. There's definitely not a lot of benefit to that. And there's Rufus right on cue. That's very nice. Mm-hmm. 
jump on that head. We grab a little bit more money, I think, over here, just hacking my way through this thing. Extra 700 bucks, and I'll call it good. Not a lot. Not a lot going on. 1-1 one and 1-2, one so... Hopefully we find some more goodies pretty soon here. I'm gonna have to whip this dude, or at least jump on his face. We've got a lot of dangerous pots in the area. Dangerous pots! Don't let your child near any dangerous pots. Just one pot is enough to die. I don't even know where I'm going with that. Took a turn for the worse in my mind. Oh, God, ah, I figured that would happen. Okay, well, screwed this up completely. I don't think I even want this. I don't know why I'm at, or even attempting <laughs> to try to go over here and get this idol head. It's definitely not in my best interest here. There is another shop. Could be something worthwhile. Cloning spider down there. Ooh, he's got a compass and a gift box and a bomb box that I probably want to purchase. If Rufus is somewhere over here, I can definitely consider sacrificing him on the altar. It sounds like he's on the right side. Somewhere over yonder. Kill the skeleton just because he's directly below me, I think, actually. Can't decide. Oh, eggplant! Ah, hey, you're right! That'd be fun. Let's go for that. I'm down. I'm diggity down down, baby. Let's go. Eggplant daily challenge run. Woohoohoo! Got the eggplant, baby! Alright, well let's see how long this lasts. I clearly don't want to use it to set off the arrow trap, and I think it's already been set off anyway, so. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a bunch of freaking fun. There's our dog. I should probably bring him up to sacrifice him, actually, considering we may have a relatively easy point of access to get back up there. So let's get the puppy. Come on down here. Jump on this dude's head one more time. Obviously... Oh, I'm a dummy. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Actually, the Red Flame, I believe the Gold Monkey has a limit to how many... Uh, gold he can poo. May be mistaken on that, but I r recall instances in which the gold monkey has ceased to defecate. Let's see, I'm gonna have to get the Matic again to hack through here without having to use a bunch of bombs to make that work, so let's see. I should put the eggplant somewhere safe that's easily accessible, I suppose, which would likely be right here, and then we can take Rufus, and we can go like this, and he'll find his merry way down somewhere. And that was a dumb idea to try to whip that, but at any rate, let's go ahead and use a bomb right here, maybe? No, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Maybe I should drop the chest uh, all the way down there. No, I think I just need to use a rope to get back up here. It's probably the best bet. So let's see. I need to drop down here, obviously, get the key, which would be easiest to do by instead of using... Ooh, we've got a... we got a vault here as well, man. I think I'm gonna have to get that. Man, I should get a few more bombs. Okay. It's looking good. Alright, so we're gonna kill... the shopkeep inside of there, obviously, and we're gonna hope that a bomb that I set in the appropriate place is gonna do that for me. I'm gonna have to use a couple more ropes to get back up there. I should get my key first and get the Uwe Jedi, just so I don't have to worry about that when I'm setting up the vault. Setting up the ghost vault, rather. And let's do one more rope here. Obviously, gonna have to get all the way back up. Alright. Packing our way on through to the other side. Get this key. We're gonna use this real quick on... Oh, God! Woo! <laughs> Nearly messed that up. Alright, we're gonna use this real quick. Not even gonna take any risks on jumping over the spikes. We're gonna go like so. We're gonna have this all ready to go. Gotta make sure I get my eggplant, man. Don't wanna leave that behind. That'd be silly. All right, here we go. Now, I think the better way to do this is probably going to be to hack through this way. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to try not to grab this sapphire because I believe I can avoid it and ghost it for an extra five grand. All right, killed him, so that's fantastic. Uh, I should use the Matic, what's left of it at least, to try to hack my way into getting a few more gems unlocked. 
So let's go ahead and use it right there to get that one. Ah, oh, Rufus got himself killed. That's a bummer. I just dropped my Matic, too. That was... Oh, that was dumb. Okay, so... I think he's coming through. So I should get myself ready up in this area. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Man, a lot of those were already diamonds. That's interesting. Alright, so I don't know what the best way to do this is gonna be, but I think I should probably just jump straight up here. I'm gonna grab my eggplant now, just to be safe. Don't wanna leave it behind. Clearly the most important aspect of this entire run, obviously. Alright, this is pretty well set up for me, actually. I'm not really in any immediate danger right now. Okay, up, 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 up. And we're not gonna jump into spikes, that would be terrible. Oh god, a, a freaking bat found his way in here! That's not good, that's not good. Oh god, alright, put down, put down the eggplant. <sighs> no, he destroyed it! Oh, freaking bats, man! They ruin everything! Oh, damn it! Why? Why, why has the bat gotta show up and ruin my life? I should have jumped on him in the first place, that was dumb of me. Oh well. Well, let's go get a shotgun, I guess. It's gonna be better off anyway. Uh, where is our shotgun gonna be? It's right there. We've got another diamond I want to grab before I get out of here. I should just be able to go through this way. Go up here. Obviously gonna have shopkeepers to deal with for the rest of our lives now, and I gotta make sure I get in here quickly. Thank you. Oh boy. Alright, well... We got the vault ghosted at least, so there's an extra hundred grand on top of the score, and now we're inside the jungle, and we got our Ujad eye too, so everything's everything's okay despite the horrible failure that we had in not bringing the eggplant all the way down to hell, but you know, win some, lose some, you win a few, you lose a lot, that's the story of Spelunky, in a nutshell. I'm gonna grab this idle head, and we're gonna have to kill the piranha plant, or, man, I always call them piranha plant, which I guess that's kind of what they are, a man trap is really what their official moniker is. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe drop down here. This looks probably like a good idea. Let's kill this dude. This is straight down to the doorway where our shopkeeper is lingering. So we're gonna have to find a way to kill him. He might be able to kill himself, actually, if we get super lucky. But I'm doubting that's gonna happen. So I'm thinking what I want to do is I'm gonna get Rufus put him into our little safety doorway here. I'm gonna have to use a rope to get up to him, but we want to use that to get up and bomb that crate anyway, so I'm alright with that resource usage. Nope, sorry, buddy. Not what I meant to do. Bam! Oh god, that was nearly a big mistake. Okay. I want to go back over this way, too, because I feel like I might be missing something over here. There's definitely a lot of cash, and we do have the idle head that I could grab as well if I chose to do so. Bam! Take care of that guy. Alright, let's go back up there and maybe get this idle head over here just so we can perhaps set ourselves up to do some good things. He might be locked up in that area, actually. If I can get him to stay jumping around in that little position, actually, you know what, I'm probably gonna have to use another rope to get up there, which I don't think it's really worth $10,000. I think I'd rather hang on to the one rope that I may may or may not be able to uh, keep for the rest of my life. I don't know why I was hesitating to go down. That was kind of silly. Alright, let's see. I still don't even have paste, so this is really a bad situation. Alright, I'm going to try to get really lucky here and hope that he ends up dropping down there at some point, and that's not going to be happening for me. Alright, let's go like this. Bomb the way straight down. I think I need to leave Rufus behind, because I'd much rather have the shotgun, so I need to just... Oh, wait, hang on, buddy, don't go down there, that's a bad call! Oh, jeez. Alright, well, let's just go down here, I guess. Let's just go down there. Man, I lured him out with Rufus. I'm a bad man. I should have maybe gone to the worm. That might, yeah, that might have very well been the best idea. Oh, I could have put him. Oh, I didn't even realize that I could have put him in the worm. That was silly of me. Oh well. You live and you learn, man. Some things, it's like I've played this game for a very long time, and I still don't think about those kinds of things. You know, just not, not second nature yet. All right, let's deal with this ridiculousness here real fast. We have the haunted castle up there, which is tempting, but it's not really readily accessible anymore. Man, I really need some items here. I am starving for stuff. There's our ash grave, and uh, let's see, there's no piranhas in here, so I should be able to get this bomb bag. And I uh, might be able to get this guy shot. Oh god! Well, that was dumb. Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs> I was thinking about that as I did it, 
I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Let's look at the leaderboard. Two in a row of disappointing finishes, but at least we got past the mines that time. 123,000, obviously not going to do it for a high score, but hey, you know, I'm satisfied at least. Well, thanks so much for watching the Daily Challenge here today. Definitely playing some more Spelunky here for the rest of the Dare, Dare, Dare Taffy. Bear Taffy live show here for September 9th, 10th, 11th, whatever it is, 2013. Okay, let's go back. Thanks for watching on YouTube, everybody. I'll see you next time.